I'm back. <laughs> I'm back with our Bay Breeze. Try to get this worked in there so that you can see. Oh, it looks good. Okay, so this one is really pretty easy as far as the shape goes. We are just doing kind of like a cylinder. So if you're creating a box, you just round off the edges here and then the top part you'll create an elongated oval. And then we'll do like little boxes inside to create ice cubes. And then this is just a little half moon. Um, a three dimensional half moon has a point here where you're gonna start, a point here where you're gonna end, and then you're gonna start at that same point and kind of drape it over top and meet at that same point again, making this middle part its widest. So that's gonna be our little orange slice, and then we have a round little cherry, and I'm gonna save one of those cocktail, <laughs> cocktail swords in the top. Is anybody's favorite drink of Avery's? I feel like that was my first drink ever. <laughs> Is that everybody's first drink ever? All right. So for this one, we're gonna be using a lot of orange and red. So I'm gonna pull out, it's literally called orange. So we got orange. On the palette we have Color called crimson. Again, they're artist loft acrylic paints. They're kind of my go to. Also, I'm going to put a little bit of this brilliant red here. We're going to go very tropical with our drink. And I'm going to find a yellow here that might work pretty well. Gotta see which one I want to use. Probably this Naples yellow. That'll be a nice addition. And actually I'm gonna put a little dot of brilliant yellow next to it so that I can kind of blend some of that. Get some brighter tones out of it. Alright, so we're gonna start with this one's gonna be be fun because it has a lot of color swishing. <laughs> Gotta find which brush I want to use. This is my palette plate. I know the other the Irish coffee's on there too, but this is what I'll be using as far as the colors go. Just gonna grab my brush. guy out. This one is flat and angled. <laughs> you haven't had any in a long time. <laughs> I know me either actually. I used to that would be like my go-to when I was cool and like going out all the time. <laughs> so we're just gonna I do like cross hatching. So going this way and then going this way, little cross hatching marks. Again, we're creating some motion with it because it's a drink that definitely gets mixed. So, and it has layers to it. So I am going to put a little bit of a line, lay down a little bit of a line on each side of that orange so then I don't get too sloppy across the edge there. And then we're going to come in with some red, some of that crimson. Again, we're just cross hatching. Don't go all the way to the bottom of your glass. This type of glass, typically, you can see the liquid all the way down to about there. And then it's just that you see the glass. 
we're going to be very careful not to go too crazy on that edge. Same thing over here. But the rest of it we're just going to have fun with because well, why not? It's just a mixing of the orange and the red to create our tasty drink. Same thing when we get to this top part here. I'm going to leave a teeny tiny bit of room between where I stop the drink and where the glass is. And it's really nice to have this, um, this type of brush, this angled brush to be able to do that. Same thing with where our orange slice is actually gonna be seen a little bit. So don't go completely over where that little orange slice is, but you can, don't be afraid to like touch it. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of color in the background of this. Yeah. It's okay if you go over top of the, the ice cubes, because we'll mix in some of the color with that because it would be reflection. So. I'm just going to go through and kind of mess around with layering the, the colors and you can do that too. Again, this is a drink that kind of gets, has different layers to it, which is the fun part of it. And then it kind of gets mixed. Kind of like, I don't know if you've never drank this type of drink. Um, Think of it like, I know you've drank a latte before. It's kind of like a macchiato, how you see the different colors in it before you mix it up. So that's what we're kind of, I'm gonna put a little, little bit of yellow towards this top here, that bright yellow that we're, the brilliant yellow. And again, just cross hatching with my red, my crimson. And my brilliant, my bright red. We wanted to have that cross hatching because that actually shows, kind of insinuates that there's maybe some ice cubes in there and something going on. Again, it's all about that movement. Doesn't have to be even across the board, just have fun with it. All right. Let's see. Love the bright colors. <laughs> Me too. I feel like that's why I like uh, this drink in particular. <laughs> it's just fun. Okay, so like I said, just plug in a little bit of that yellow wherever you can. All right, and since I have my red, we're going to go here. I'm actually just gonna go right for my little cherry guy and get him kind of figured out where I'm gonna put him. Kind of fill that in with color and then I'm going to fill in the orange underneath then with color too. And let's go for the orange. I did switch brushes. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. Switch brushes to a more pointy brush for that. And I am just going straight across this little orange. There we 
there we go. Fill in that orange as best as you can for underneath here. You could fill it in too. I'm probably going to add a little bit of Ecru and that, I think it was Naples, yeah, Naples yellow to the orange for that. I'm going to kind of just mix that on my plate until I'm happy with the, the color that I'm getting for that inside of the orange. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of the yellow too. Before I go too far, I actually feel like it would be good to erase some of that line and get rid of it. That way I don't have to work around it with the paint. <laughs> So our orange slice, we're actually going to, again, I'm going to just add in a little bit more of the orange and put some of this in there a little bit later, orange color. So you can kind of see that it goes underneath the water, not water drink. <laughs> And then I'm going to take a little bit of that crimson and kind of play with that in the orange by just doing little short strokes along the edge. Give a little bit more dimension. And then also go in with some yellow too. It's okay if you're getting it on the cherry because we'll come back through and share up what the cherry looks like. All right, so then I'm gonna take a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit of the brown and like tap that in there. Just little bits of tap. <laughs> and then tap on top of that with the orange towards the edges here to give it a little bit of texture of an orange peel. Same thing up here. And I know I didn't say that we were using brown earlier, but I already have that on my palette, and you probably did too if you're doing all of these. So if not, get that on your palette and let's. Let's do this. All right, so now we have some texture on our orange peel. And now we can go through in this part here and kind of just take our orange and feather in some, some lines. Go straight across there and then take your white give kind of that that kind of pulpy underskin that is on the on an orange and then go over the white in a yellow. And add some of your white back in if you want to see more of that highlight. And you can also add some white into this top part here of the orange. And same thing here, we're just going to go through and Add in some little highlights 
Are we looking like an orange yet? <laughs> All right. You don't want to do anything too crazy with the under part that actually is under the liquid because that would be kind of muddied up with the, of all the coloring of this drink. All right, now we're gonna finish out that cherry. Make sure we put a nice little line at the bottom of it with our crimson. Nice little curved circular one. And then pull in a little bit of black to give it that shadow at the bottom. And then add in some more red. And add your little cherry highlight along the edge. Again, we're just creating a little bit of dimension with the circle that the cherry is. It's not a flat surface, so we kind of want to make sure that our highlights are curved. And then give the little stem. I'm doing mine in brown. You can do it in in black or green. Add a little bit of black to the base of it towards the actual cherry itself. And then I'm gonna put a little highlight on the tip of the stem. Got a little crazy on my highlights. I'm gonna add back in some of those brown. All right. And then what we'll do is we'll just put a little yellow into our cocktail sword that's here maybe add a little bit of orange to it get it all festive looking and then add in our highlight at the top and maybe give a little couple of dots for the highlights probably don't have a whole lot of shadowing on that so maybe just have a little bit of black towards the bottom All right, let's finish up the rest of this with white and black. So we're gonna take our white and we're gonna kind of just pull it right along the edge of this. I have to put a little bit of water on there if your orange has dried up. And just Add in that white. Again, we're going to do a little bit of adding in the white towards the back of your drink, too. And then getting those little ice cubes. Add a little bit of black where the ice cubes are at. but then fill the rest of it in with your white. If you go a little bit over top of where your orange is at, no big deal, you'll just put a little bit of dot of orange over top of it, there you go. <laughs> you can also add in, if you wanna see more of the color inside your drink, you can also add a little bit more of the color, the reds, the oranges. Again, we're kind of just creating movement out of it. And 
probably gonna put a little bit of a black shadow in here because that would be appropriate for how that looks or how that would look again same thing there along the the edge of the glass would be a good place to add in a little bit of black and maybe like phase it out into a, a, a gray same thing at the bottom Just fill that guy in with the white. All right. Does anybody else want to be on a tropical island sipping on sipping on one of these drinks right now? Again, we'll be adding in some of the black, just like we did with the, with the last one, to kind of create some dimension. I did tap it in the water a little bit to get, get a little bit more fluidity out of my paint. Don't take your black across the whole thing. You won't need to do that to create the look that you're going for. And we're going to do the same thing that we did the last one. Put a little bit of white on the side of your glass. Creating kind of a kind of a curve to the glass. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> Tropical Island would be fantastic. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could go there in my head, but <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> A little Bermuda would be nice. <laughs> Sorry guys, I gotta put a little bit more white on my palette. Alright, back to it. Same thing on this side. We're just gonna do a little bit of white. Give that glass a little bit of an edge. If you water down your white, you can get a little bit more of, um, how do I wanna say it? Kind of like a, the, like the glass is sweating kind of a look. And we're almost finished. How's yours turning out? Is it okay? Is it good? Did we do a good job? Probably put a couple of little highlights up here too, along the edge. If you would want to, I don't have time in, in my 20 minute session here, but if you would want to, you can also add an umbrella, you can add some straws in there, do all kinds of fun stuff. Make it your own. All right. I think we're all finished. <laughs> Who wants a Bay Breeze? <laughs> I'll be back in just a few minutes with Martini. 